Welcome back. We are live again with Web3 TV. I'm Adele Burton, the host uh, at the WOW Summit Dubai. And I'm here with Jane, Dr. Jane. Hello, it's great to be here. Thank you for being with us. I love your outfit. Please tell us a little bit about this, what you're wearing today. Thank you. It's, it's very eclectic. It's very Middle Eastern. The cape came from Oman. The dress came from Sharjah. The scarf came from Turkey. And I'm just putting it all together. It's sort of like modest but colorful fashion. And it really, I think there's, there's a case to be said about personal branding. And you've 100% gotten full marks for that at this event. Um, so really well done on that. Thank you. Um, and, and tell us a little bit about yourself for the audience who are new, um, who may have not heard about you. Tell us a bit about yourself. Yeah, so I, I've been involved in blockchain since 2016, mainly because my son told me to. But what appealed to me about blockchain and then Web3 is the benefits that it can bring to society. So whether it's financial inclusion, identity, supply chains for agriculture and healthcare, um, and, and giving content creators like an opportunity to be rewarded for what they do. Exactly. Healthcare, education, they're the possibilities that I see and that's what I follow. And I, I study and research about it, I write about it, I've written three books about it, and I just love to try and share with people a vision for the future that helps them understand how technology can really help us with what we're doing and make our lives better. Fantastic. I think there's a great piece there's a great piece there about how the blockchain technology is bringing benefits to society as a whole. One of them include being, you know, um, counter, you know, solving the counterfeiting problem because of proof of proof of work, um, having an NFT that certifies that you own said item. Um, that's really great. You said you wrote you wrote books. Um, what's the latest book you I wrote about? I just finished a book on Web3. Um, and what I tried to do with that, because I think Web3 is very confusing to a lot of people, is again, just take people through what are the critical, critical elements of Web3, why it's important, and what it will enable them to do in the future. Again, I'm really focusing on social utility, the different sectors, how people are going to use the metaverse and how it's going to change our world and also what some of the risks are because we know that there are, are both kind of uh, ethical risks as well as social risks as well as consumer protection risks. So we need to talk about all of that. 100% and I think you, you hit the nail on the head there regarding utility. Um, there are many coins out there, not many of them have utility but the ones that do, certainly they bring benefits to society. Um, in terms of, well, investing on one hand, but also investing in the technology because of the longer game. You're in it for the longer game. You're not just there for the quick pump and dub and, uh, and quick buck. No, I've like totally failed on that one, but like I'm in for the long game. This is gonna transform society. Fantastic <laughs> stuff. Um, so, so J Dr. Jane, um, Dubai. You're in Dubai, you're based in Dubai. Why Dubai? What sets Dubai apart from other nations when it comes to Web3? I just think it's an incredibly exciting place. And I think if you think about technology transforming the future, here we are in a country that 50 years ago was attractive desert, and they had a vision to be able to create the, create the most modern futuristic city in the world. And then similarly with technology, they're transforming that vision into believing in an incredible digital future. So if you work in digital technology and you want to be in a place where you have government support, where there's funding, where there's a supportive community, this is such an obvious place to be. I agree. I think I kind of want to disagree, but I, but I can't because I don't want everyone to come here. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to keep it for us. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll be overpopulated and uh, we'll be saturated. I feel um, it, we are untapped in the sense that um, we're not yet saturated. We're small, everybody sort of knows each other, we still see the same faces here, and I don't mind, but um, at the same time, um, being vigilant, and at the same time, we're not a joke, because VARA, Virtual Asset Regulatory Authority, the DFSA, great things are happening in this space for Web3, so we can only be optimistic about it. Yeah. Oh, no, I think we have to be, but the other point is, UAE might be small, but we're surrounded by a third of the world's population within four hours flight. And so the connectivity and the ability to be able to scale is very powerful from here. Fantastic. We're going to wrap up. So going forward, Dr. Jane, where do you see yourself in the Web3 space for the foreseeable future um, going forward? 
Well, I think, I think where I see myself is in helping people, governments, people who run corporations, people who run legacy institutions, to understand why technology is important, how it's going to change what they do, and why they need to get ready for it. Because 80% uh, of the world have no idea about this, and we need to be able to help them understand. Fantastic stuff. Thank you so much for watching. This is Web3 TV, and now we're out.